Greetings, I'm Darvain and welcome back to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls The Arena. Apparently the name comes from the fact that you can find all this on the wiki. The fact that in designing the original comp for this game was that it was going to be a gladiatorial combat kind of scenario where you travel between towns and then they started building up the design till it became as that they got rid of the arena the arena style and decided to go with full blown role playing game. Fortunately they'd already commissioned quite a few assets for this. So in the they kept the name the arena. And basically, because of the, the state, and if you read the background, if you get the chance, it goes too fast for me to read. But apparently, the they've decided that was the nickname for the Empire of Tamriel because it was so full of conflict. Who are you? Nothing quick to travel. So yeah, don't know who that is. I'm curious. Got a magical longsword already. We're gonna have to go for my ring of shield into the ring of words fire. Does that even do anything? Let's try again, shall we? Nope, let's try another tactic. Okay. With our mark of light and go to our mark of life steel. If it's alive in there, we're gonna kill it. Don't know what that was, but we, whatever it was, we did it. That was ice golem. Okay. I'd really use some fire weapons about now, I think.
That does indeed look like stairs down. But we don't want to go down yet. After all, we've got this entire level to explore. And this level looks huge. And it's not going anywhere. Here's where you really begin to lament. I guess this is... No, I wouldn't say that actually. I would say lament the lack of being able to use spells, but... I wouldn't say it was that bad, to be honest. Ice Golems! What? Okay. It is a bit annoying when it gets a bit hectic and basically this slowdown on the response gets a bit annoying and it can kill you but then that's possibly because it's trying to record it at the same time and basically put my computer can't handle it Oof. 
so you can hear me kind of furiously clicking, clicking there when I shouldn't do because let's see can we rest here we don't need to rest actually this is a camera thing. Like I said, my next what I plan to do, what I really, really need to do is to see if I can less time. get myself a new computer custom built for this. I mean, I'm not particularly happy because I, uh, you know, when you go to somewhere and then salesman and they're like, yeah, 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 buy this one. It does everything you possibly want ever, just because they want to do the sale. It gets annoying when you can't even trust experts because they're actually just salesmen. It takes the mick if you ask me. Especially when, because in some cases it's flat out lying. For example, I went to PC World, I asked them, could I do this? Would it be able to do Let's Plays? And I went, yeah, 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 yeah. I asked them specifically about um, old school games like this. I went, yeah, 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 yeah. I asked them if they could upgrade the graphics card. They went, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, fine, do it. Does what I want. If it does what I want to do, I'll take it. Turns out, I mean, I've had this for a year. Uh, the graphics card is an, o is an OEM card. That kind of sucks. With little or no possibility of um, upgrade. Uh, because it's in a custom built case, there's no room for it. So, being asked, could I upgrade the graphic card was an outright lie. And it turns out that because it can't handle anything, it can't, the graphic card itself can't handle any resolutions lower than I think it's um, 1020 by 1280 or whatever. So a lot of the old school games don't run because they got one of them cheap. Uh, they got one of the the, the cheap um, Nvidia stuff. That's you know when they're scratch building the machines. It's like no. Is it is a shame, really, because I really, really need to get a new computer. Bye-bye. Unfortunately, like everything, they take money. And it's quite fun. You get loads of. Um, I mean, I like Let's Players. I, I have a lot of respect for Let's Players. But it's very much a case of. Oh, yeah, well, they can afford to have their machines. You know? And after eight years, they've managed to do what it takes to get their custom built kit machine. With the with their software and so yeah, I mean I guess it depends a lot on the games that a lot on the games that you want to uh, actually play, but actually let's play. So
but it's a darn sight easier. So that's my next goal anyway. To try and get enough to uh, get a computer that I can do to let's play the stuff that I want to let's play. And yeah, I've got loads of games. I mean, I can, I've explained my fascination with franchises, and when you find that a lot of the early franchises simply run, simply don't run properly if they're not in a DOS box. Because I mean, DOS, DOS box itself is turned out to be absolute miracle in gaming. If it wasn't for DOS box, there wouldn't be half as many people playing the earlier games. They just couldn't. I do have just the thing for that one. I think not exactly brilliant, but yeah, never mind. So yeah, that's my main aim right now. Um, as always, I mean, in case of I mean, if you do like what you see in here, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And please watch the adverts. I mean, I cannot stress that enough. Watch the adverts. I mean, some of them, even if you skip the adverts, the fact that they show them to you is enough to, for most Let's Players to get some revenue. Um, failing that, I think I may have to consider sorting out a Patreon. But I'm not sure how that would go, to be honest. So, I mean, I think you've heard me uh, kind of brag about my games collection before. Like in GOG, I pretty much got like 1200 games, both old classics and new classics. Apparently, there's a secret door. Loot. Me, huh? But then fear my crystal of opening. Really? So yeah, that's my plan. I mean, everything from Tropico to Railway Tycoon and everything in between. A whole bunch of role-playing games. I mean, at the moment,
see what's down here. Uh, long sword. Okay. So yeah, you know, just to think how some of the newer ones are going to do. Enemies nearby, great, okay. Touch up with the healing now and let's see what, let's carry on. This far side. Yes, I am. down here yeah. come on get some it grinding because there's a lot of lag which is annoying which is why I need a little computer because there's no internet connection for this it's all based off my hard drive and my main and my way So there shouldn't be that much of a reason for lag. Except for the fact that it's running the my computer trying to run the recording software and the game. Which normally isn't a problem. So, 
Just two. You see, yeah, that would be my next approach. Because I know with the computer I'm sort of going to build. But it will cost me like a thousand pounds to do it. Which I just don't have at the moment. I mean, the, the annoying thing is my sole income is currently benefits. Yeah, I mean, I do try and keep myself busy. Really? You're also in the room? Okay. First day, how do I get first? I guess I'll wait for it to wear off, I guess. But we'll save it like So, yeah, that's the plan anyway. Where are we doing? We are. I think we're pretty much. Yeah, we've done of this area. We can sort of see how. Yeah, that's fairly big, to be honest. Just put a bit of in a bit in here to explore. But I'm going to call it there. So if you like what you're seeing here, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And until next time, goodbye.